Hi, I'm Mike Weaver, Senior Pastor at Gillespie Memorial Church, and welcome to the GMC podcast and vlog, available through Anchor, Spotify, Apple and Google, as well as other podcast providers, and on YouTube. This series will bring you a thought for the day reflection on a scripture verse over the 40 days of Lent, Mondays to Saturdays from the 2nd of March through to Holy Saturday, which falls on April the 16th. May you be blessed by these words. And now over to one of our teaching pastors, the Reverend Maggie Lane. Good morning, folks, and this is day 37 of our meditations. And I'm going to continue with the theme that we've had over the past three days. We began with anger on Monday and looked at what anger made us do and say at times. And then we we looked at the psalmist uh, and asked for understanding because he was railing against God um, for the way others were prospering and nothing was coming against them. Why was he keeping his heart pure? Uh, until he got understanding and realised that, that, that those who are far from God will ultimately perish. And that would hopefully give us greater compassion. So today, I, I want to round that up, as it were, by going back to the book of James. We're going back to James. And this is a text that has often challenged me. It says this, Consider it pure joy, my brothers, again, and sisters, Whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature, complete, not lacking anything. Amen. That's not an easy word, is it? (laughs) That's not an easy word. Consider it pure joy when you face trials of many kinds. Well, we're grateful that James has explained that we're given these trials to develop perseverance in us, trials and testing. And it's got to do its work because it's in the furnace that we're refined. It's in the hard place that the things of God are developed in us. We're not always to be on the mountaintop. We love the mountaintop experience. It's great being on the mountaintop, but it's actually in the valley. It's in the valley that we discover the shepherd urging us through, urging us to depend on him um, and to come through our trials and temptations. When the psalmist was annoyed, he was annoyed because he'd been going through so much and others weren't being touched by it, but there was a purpose in it. There was a purpose in it. It's develop, to develop perseverance in us. Now, we might grasp that. We might grasp that, you know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Can we say that? And that coming through difficult things can often produce far greater character in us. Um, if we can come through a, a difficulty or a test or a situation we find we're stronger at the end of it, that perseverance has to do its work so that we might be mature in our faith, not lacking anything, so that no matter what comes against us, we're steady. We are steady because we're standing on the rock. We've learned these lessons. We've learned to be able to rest in the boat when it's being tossed about by the waves. But the bit that's difficult to grasp is consider it pure joy. That's a bit harder. Consider it pure joy. And what we're being asked to consider is you're actually sharing in the same difficulties that Jesus encountered. You're sharing in the suffering. You're sharing in the trials. You're sharing in the tests because you're his. You're counted worthy to be called a child of God, a friend of Jesus. So we're to consider it pure joy, pure joy, when you have these tests and trials. Sometimes we say, I must be doing something right. There's so much coming against me. 
but can we actually consider it pure joy? Think of Paul and Silas in that prison cell, beaten, bruised and battered and in shackles. And what are they doing? They're singing hymns to the Lord and they're praying. And it had the most amazing impact as the ground shook and the jail doors opened and they walked free and the jailer and his family were blessed and came to faith. Consider it pure joy. That's not an easy one. You have to mine deeply into this word to realise the truth of this. You have to be able to trust the Lord and be willing to embrace Whatever testing, whatever trials, whatever tribulations come against you, it's going to produce perseverance in us. And if we don't learn, we'll go back and do it again. Until we are so refined, so refined and mature that the kingdom of God is so evident in us. Consider it pure joy. Pure joy. I don't find that an easy word to grasp. But I hope I'm learning it in life. And I hope I can say, along with the psalmist, it's better, it's better to stay close to the Lord, no matter what. And thank you, Lord, that you count me worthy of going through these tests and tribulations, for your glory is revealed in how I respond. Your kingdom is revealed in how I come through it. And I want so much for the kingdom of God to be demonstrated in my life to others. Meditate on this word. It's not an easy word, but it is one that will produce gold in you when you realise that God gives us these opportunities that we, we might be kingdom people and display his kingdom. The Lord bless you this day. This podcast was brought to you by the team at GMC, Gillespie Memorial Church, Dunfermline in Scotland. We are a church that seeks to make Jesus known in words and in action. Thanks for listening or watching us today. And if you'd like to support our ministry in any way, or to find out more about us, just visit our Facebook page or visit our website www.gillespiechurch.org. God bless.